Hello everyone, this is TechBizMo, and welcome to another video, and in this video everyone, I'm going to be doing a Manjaro Gnome review, so yeah guys, let's go ahead and get started. Before I get started here today guys, I have a quick shout out um, to point out, and that shout out goes to Big Daddy Linux, his channel will be as a link in the description. Um, this video was recommended by Big Daddy Linux um, quite a while ago, but um, I just decided that now was the time to make a Manjaro Gnome review. So yeah, guys, let's go ahead and get started. So first of all, you can see I am here um, on the lock screen of Manjaro Gnome, and you can see my account, so I'm just going to go ahead and type in my password, and we will wait for that. Okay, you can see the lovely Breeze mouse cursor and we will wait for this to load okay here we are alright so the first thing you guys would see is you know the desktop and your Manjaro hello right here so we are going to quickly review the Manjaro hello window um, so I'm going to go ahead and read this stuff right here welcome to Manjaro thank you for joining our, our community we, the Manjaro developers, hope that you will enjoy using Manjaro as much as we enjoy building it. The links below will help you get started with your new operating system, so enjoy the experience and don't hesitate to send us your feedback. Hmm, does that sound like something um, from another Lynx distro that I reviewed? Hmm, maybe Farron OS? <laughs> Alright, so, um, alright, you got right here documentation, support, and project and um, yeah in the documentation you've got readme release info and wiki uh, the support you've got forums chat room uh, and mailing lists uh, project you've got get involved development and donate um, so I'm just going to um, I, I'm not going to review this um, this start screen since you know I just read what their description was and stuff so uh, I guess that's good enough for that um, the next thing we can look at is the menu. Okay, so here we are uh, on the Manjaro menu. Uh, here's the recent, and here is web marks. Um, which, yeah, if you know you use your Manjaro computer a lot, then uh, it would actually show up. Uh, but when you first open it up, you've got stuff over here, you know, like all applications, frequent apps, favorite apps, accessories, education, games, uh, graphics, internet. Office programming, sound and video, uh, Sondry, system tools, utilities, and other. Okay, so uh, let me see. So actually, right here, you, you know, the frequent apps, that's going to be what you normally use and uh, what you use frequently, of course. Uh, you can see the one I use the most is Manjaro Hello. <laughs> um, alrighty, so let me see. We're going to go ahead and look into their software center, so let's go ahead and open it up. Okay. So package manager, um, in here you can look over in this section or you can go ahead and search. So I could search for something like Caden Live um, and then it should work. Might take a minute. Am I connected to the Wi-Fi? Yep, I'm, I'm connected. So it should work, but it doesn't look like it's working, so... I don't know, maybe that's temporary, maybe it is some kind of connection I'm having that's a bad connection it probably is but that's fine um, we'll, we'll look at that a little later so hopefully it works uh, let's see uh, all application okay so another thing we can quickly look at is the calculator app so the calculator we've got right here very nice buttons I like the look of them the one I always use is eight times eight or I might do, I might do nine times nine. I don't remember what I do. Uh, which is sixty four, and nine times nine eighty one. So nine uh, times nine eighty one. Okay, so Manjaro is not stupid. <laughs> All right, so yeah, there's a little quick review of their calculator. All right, so let's look more in the all applications. Okay, so um. Let's actually look into Firefox. So, you know, Firefox is a web browser that most uh, Linux distributions use, or, you know, another alternative that they can use is Vivaldi and uh, Chromium and stuff. But as you can see here, when you first open Firefox in Manjaro GNOME, this is the website you will be greeted by. Is the, it is the manjaro.org. Um, yeah, Manjaro Linux. Um, 
yeah, let's go ahead and open up the preferences. Which, yeah, to go to there, you just open up your menu and then click on the preferences. And then you have the preferences. Okay, so G N O menu. Panel settings, disable activities, hot corner. Um, can, you can you guys can have a quick look at uh, these settings right here remove apps button from the panel uh, if I remove that then you know it will um, uh, it you know if I if I turn that off then it will show the apps right there but you don't need that because if you click on that it's gonna show as well so we'll just keep that like that we'll keep it on <laughs> All right, uh, remove menu button from panel. So yeah, I can remove that, and now it's just loneliness. Um, yeah, so label for the menu right here. I can go ahead and change that to Tech Bismo if I want, which I never do. I don't really like how it looks there, uh, but I could do something like Linux, just like that, and then we got Linux right there, um, or you know something more about the. Uh, distribution but we're gonna leave it at menu for now alright set menu button position so menu button position you know that's gonna be where this is gonna be so I can set it to center which I'm assuming it'll go to the center um maybe not uh left right hmm I guess I got to apply something I don't know. So far, this hasn't been working out for me. But guys, I'm I'm almost certain that it's well. I am certain that it is. Um, okay, almost certain that it is just my virtual machine messing me up. Um, but yeah. All right. Uh, use icon with the menu button. Oh, so I can remove the icon. That actually looks quite nice. So I'll just I'll just yeah. I'll leave it without the menu button. Uh, menu button. Hotspot hover delay. Disable menu. Oh, so that does that mean um? Oh well. Um, let's see. Disable menu button shortcut key. So, uh, shortcut key. What is that? Oh, shortcut. Oh, I didn't. Sorry, I wasn't reading that right. So that means I can do uh, Shift F three. Yep, and then it'll open up. But I don't get the use of that because we can just click on um our windows button or maybe not okay so yeah I guess I guess shift f3 is a good alternative but I guess we can change it to that can we change it nope okay so um shift f3 <laughs> I, I actually like that how it um, opens up like that alright uh, menu settings menu layout size so menu I can do compact Ooh, I'm keeping it like that. Actually, I like I like it. Uh, hide user options panel. User options panel. So you know that's gonna be the uh, your user, of course. And then hide shortcuts panel. Yeah, I could do that if I want. All right. Um, size of shortcut panel icons. No, I'm not gonna change that. Hide categories panel. No, I'm not going to change that. Now, I'm not going to change anything over here, so um, let's see if there's an actual, like, settings. Okay, here we go. That, that This is what I'm looking for, settings, an actual full settings, you know, not just preferences. But, yeah. All right, here we are. There we go. Um, I know I don't have internet. Um, I know I have internet plugged in. Yeah, wired connection. Oh, no adapter found, so that just means I don't have a internal Wi-Fi adapter right now. Uh, you know, in my virtual machine and stuff. I'm gonna change this background because it really does not look nice. So we're going to change it to something a lot nicer. There we go. There we go. There's not. That's what we're talking about. Okay, uh, notifications, okay, so yeah, this is, you know, your notifications, it, uh, I'm assuming it'll pop up right here, where my mouse cursor is, it'll just pop up and then fade away and stuff, um, search, you've got, you can turn off these functions and turn them on if you want, um, uh, power, you can see, uh, power saving, blank screen if I want, 
Um, details, I can go ahead and look at my computer details. Um, region and language, go ahead and change that if you need to. Universal access. Online accounts, which online accounts, you know, I can just go ahead and go to Gmail if I want and then uh, type in my email. So email at gmail.com or something if I want. Uh, and I put Gmail, but that works. So Gmail, email at Gmail. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, there we go. All right. So let's see. We can go ahead and look at this lovely panel right here, which I actually don't like. So I don't know why I called it lovely, which. Um, you know, I can remove in the preferences and in the settings if I want, so not too much of a complaint. But uh, let's open up the terminal. sudo apt-get install Kden Live. Nope. Okay, uh, so it does not use apt-get. Uh, sudo apt install. Oopsie. <laughs> Okay, so it doesn't use um, it doesn't use these sudo apt commands. It um, I'll have to look into that because you know I don't know I don't know much about the Linux terminal. I just you know the only one I really know is um, sudo apt and and that that's that's pretty much it because I'm I am a sudo apt guy and all my life of Linux I've just used sudo apt and you know I've only used Linux for a year so yeah <laughs> all right um well, yeah there's your very nice terminal um. Uh, somebody like Easy Sit or uh, I mean uh, Easy Nix, help me uh, help me out with this uh, terminal if you've got Manjaro and definitely Big Daddy Linux. You help me there if um you know how to use the terminal, which you do since I know you use Manjaro. Gano. Alrighty, uh, let me see your files. We gotta look at that. So files, you've got recent, home, documents, downloads, music, pictures, videos, trash, and your hard drive. So, MJRO1706, and that's, no, that's not my hard drive, that's, uh, you know, the uh, boot device that I use to um, install Manjaro on this. So, tweaks right here, I can go ahead and tweak, you know, this bar and stuff, so we can go ahead and open up that. Um, I believe this is GNOME tweaks. I don't know. Um, global dark theme. Okay, so I believe now I need to restart applications, like it says, to make it white now, because it's been the dark theme. Ooh, okay, it didn't change. Um, huh. I actually, I do like the dark theme, but I would like to see what it's like to um, have the white theme, so. I don't know, maybe we'll go ahead and log out and see if that'll fix it. No, that's just lock. Oopsie. That's just lock. Um, oopsie, I just locked it. I need to, um, I need to instead, is that my only choice? Just power off? I don't think so. Oh, tech bismo and then log out. There we go. I apologize. Okay. So log out. We'll see if that fixed it. Um, I honestly doubt it did. And I know you, you probably just heard a, sound with the mic and I apologize for that. I have OCD and you know dust keeps dropping down on my um my computer and it just really annoys me since you know it makes the computer look really ugly. And I can't help myself. Alrighty, so we'll wait for this to log back in. Hopefully that um hopefully uh it did change to the nope, I guess not. I guess I guess it's only some of the apps. Huh. Yeah, I kind of wanted to see what the uh, white theme looked like, but oh well. Uh, that's fine, I guess. Yeah, guys, I'm pretty certain that it, I'm pretty sure that it is just because um, uh, I'm in a virtual machine and, you know. Uh, let's see, shell. Default. Ooh, what did that do? Ooh. So, we're changing something. We're changing that. Ooh, I like it like that. Like it like that. <laughs> it's like it was the default. It probably is the default, but it looks nice anyway. 
Alrighty, uh, desktop, show icons. So I can go ahead and show icons and then, you know, put out. There we go, see? I can put icons on there. Um, background, I can change that to um, scaled if I want. See, now it looks kind of weird. Um, I can do spanned. Like that. Uh, and you know scaled okay I'm gonna I'm gonna stop looking at the uh, you know just the the background options so I apologize for that guys uh, is that perfect good <laughs> alright top bar ooh date so I can enable that um yeah You got Manjaro hello on, hello on the startups. Yeah, I can remove these and add applications if I want as well. But yeah, see you guys. Um, as you all know, I did not go through all of the options of Manjaro GNOME, and that is because I have very limited time tonight um, to make a video. Um, but anyway, guys, that is it. Um, I hope you guys got an idea for, um, of what Manjaro GNOME is like and you know how the desktop looks, because I definitely reviewed some of that. So. Anyway guys, that is it. I hope you all enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys all in my next one. Goodbye everybody!